Today I'm going to show you how to build a coat rack using these old brass hooks and some old pallet wood. So these bits of pallet wood were left over from a recent build that I did for someone. I had to make three pallet wood planters for them. So I'm going to assemble this with some Gorilla Glue. If you don't know, I have an Instagram at designandmake.yt. So go and have a look at that. Um, so I just used these scrap pieces of plywood. They came off an old project that I kept all the wood from. Um, if you go to my oldest workshop tour, I think it's in there. It's a lathe cart thing, but I never ended up using it, so because it was at the wrong height. So just wipe away any glue excess using an old rag or something like that. Just to let you know, I added another clamp across the side just to make sure it all stays in line. So we're going to attempt to plane this now. It's really important you get it really securely fastened down. Okay, so I decided I'm going to leave this rough look to it. And then this plain edge will be the one that we actually put against the wall. Okay, so after about 20 minutes of playing around, I've finally got what I would like. So here you can see my rough idea. Now, if we just remove that. So we're going to have a blackboard here. The shelf on top, obviously these pieces all need trimming, hence why they're not all lining up nicely. This will be the blackboard. Luckily, I didn't even have to cut this piece of MDF. It's about a millimetre too short, but we're not going to bother about cutting a new piece because quite frankly it uses up that scrap okay so it's nice and early in the morning it's 8 15 and I thought I would just add another coat of paint to this just to help it dry so I can add another coat this evening So these are the bits of pallet wood I'm using for the side supports. However, they weren't quite measured properly because obviously these were used for the pallet wood planter so none of them are cut exactly the same because all of the pieces of pallet wood were slightly different lengths. So we're just going to cut these so they're both the same length. So I'm going to use my Excalibur tenon saw to do this. If you haven't seen the video, click up here somewhere to watch that. So I'm going to polish these brass hooks now, I'm just using some wet and dry sandpaper to do this. Okay, so this bit's already sanded, so we don't need to bother with that. The blackboard doesn't need any sanding, but these two do. So again, we're going to hand sand so we don't lose this rustic finish. Alright, so I've got this piece of pallet wood and we need to make the backing support for the blackboard. So I'm just going to cut out these strips now. Alright, so I'm just going to finish polishing up these brass hooks. Alright, so we've just got the hooks soaking in a bit of water, just to remove any of the... Um, bits of wet and dry that were stuck in it. So now we're just going to take a bit of kitchen towel and clean all around. Okay so here's the brass hooks nicely polished with a bit of tarnish left into them. So I'm just going to shake this satin water and we're going to spray a couple of squirts of this into these. I'm going to round over this edge. Now, obviously, the main thing I use the die for was the Union Jack. 
If you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend checking that out. That's probably my favourite video and my favourite project I've done. Probably one of the harder ones I've done in terms of time and effort that went into making it, but the results were definitely worth it. Alright, so I'm just going to add another coat and then we'll add one more to the underside. Alright, so adding my final coat now. Alright, so we need to drill these holes for these now. So I've just marked on the locations with a pencil. Now, it's up to you whether you want to get really precise with these measurements. I've just roughly done it. And the final one. screw cup washers I just thought these would be a nice little if I can get the camera to focus there you go a nice little touch to add to these holes so we're just gonna line those up okay so as you can see this tidies it up really well 